Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Currently, I am Future Anthony. The video that you are about to watch is three weeks ago, Anthony, and we were working on Brian's Q40, trying to get it back together. I'm really sorry if some of the clips seem very random and out of order. A lot of things happened. We failed to pick up the camera a lot. So again, I'm really sorry for that, guys, but I really hope you enjoyed the video, and if you guys have any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. All right, we're back at it again. Um, currently, my buddy's getting picked up way down there, but just so you guys know, if you want to lift the oil pan out of a 240SX that has a CA18 DET swap, and I don't know about the SR20s, but I'm assuming with the SR20s as well, you actually have to hoist the engine up out of the um, bottom K-bar. So, just so you guys know. All this just to do an oil all right, guys. So we have everything set up. We're not gonna be. Able, we're not gonna wrap this engine like what they are saying to do because that's just too much time. And we're gonna cover the oil pan, and I don't want to pull this engine out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a universal bracket from AutoZone to come off of here because that's where a bracket belongs. We're gonna try to hook it and lift it a few inches. So let's do it. So AutoZone didn't have it, so now we're at Advanced gonna try that. So let's see. All right, guys. So currently we've got the engine wrapped right here. We're gonna hoist that bad girl up, and uh, oh, I put the other one right here. We just took off the engine bolts right there. Um, so our engine mount bolts, or nuts, whatever you want to call them. Anyway, so we're going to hoist this bad girl up and hopefully get under the oil pan. All right, guys, so we are heading to my buddy's Morris's house. We got our wheels that got delivered here. Um, we are about to go pick them up and then take them to Firestone so we can put on some new tires. So here we have the wheels dropping stuff. There's my buddy dirt bike. Yep. So let me see if I can show you. I don't think you can see, but there you go. We're going to take him to Firestone, get some tires on him and yeah. All right. We made it a Firestone. We are about to go in there, get the tires put in on our wheels or on our wheels. And then we'll be back once they're on. All right, so we are back at Advance. We need some brake cleaner so we can clean the um, oil pan and then just make sure all the metal shavings and whatnot is out. So, yep, we will be back in a minute. All right, guys, so currently I have cleaned out the whole entire oil pan. All I'm doing now is just wiping off any excess of the RTV, just kind of pushing it back towards the oil pan so when we lay it, or when it gets tacky and lays, it doesn't Go inside the oil pan, obviously. Um, and then we're gonna put this bad girl back on and be good. Uh, if you guys don't know, if you're trying to clean out an oil pan because you potentially have metal shavings or something like that, um, use the best you can with a rag and then get some brake cleaner because as you can see, it's nice and dry now. Everything's pretty much cleaned out of it. So we should be good to go and uh, ready to mount this bad girl up. Just a little waiting on it to get tacky. All right, guys, so at the moment, we actually have to take the turbo off with the manifold, but currently um, we actually have to stop for the day. We have some things happening, um, and it's just we don't have enough time. So we're going to come back another day, and I promise you, we're, by the end of this video, we're going to have this car up and running. I don't care what it takes. All right, guys, so I'm sorry about the last clip. Uh, it was really confusing, but pretty much what's happening is this. We had a gentleman come to us because we're in a public parking lot and say, hey, we can't do what we're doing, and now we have till five o'clock to finish. If we're not finished, they're gonna call a tow truck. They pretty much tow the car away. Um, so what we decided to do was we put the engine back together, or I'm sorry, we put the engine mounts back with the engine, bolted it down, but then we were having trouble with the turbo issue, so what we did is we just made everything look like it was all working. We put the hood back on, and then we actually rolled the car to a different side of the parking lot. That way, if somebody rolled by, they couldn't say anything. Like, the car's parked, you know what I mean? So. And it's his apartment, so he's allowed to be there. It's just a matter of they have a problem for some reason with him having out and working on his car in the in his own parking lot. Right, especially with the COVID-19 stuff happening. Like, people are, people are being really annoying about it. So right now, we're going to go pick up his tires and wheels because he just got brand new tires and wheels. We're going to put them in the back of the truck. No. And what the ridiculous I really wish I would have got that on video Yo. people are dumb out here in Columbus anyway so uh, we're gonna go grab his tires and wheels we're gonna put in the back of the truck go to my apartments we're gonna chill everyone's gonna kind of shower and relax and then we're probably gonna drink tonight and then we're Look gonna at come him. at this tomorrow again Dude, so he's like into different people's lanes. What the hell? BMW owners gotta love them 
wheels, good to go. Let's go back to the apartment, I'm tired. So this is one broken down S13 Sylvia or 240SX. This is another one. Dude, this is not a good trend, like at all. I'll get the third one and I'll get it to break down. There is a third one in Columbus and it's convertible. Ew. That's so cool though, like it has a roll bar in it and everything. What you doing, buddy? Uh, we are currently taking off the hood because if you're working on engines, just take the hood off. It's so much easier. Yeah. Or it can fall back onto your windshield and you can have to replace it. Hey, we don't talk about that. All right, guys, so currently what we're doing right now is we're actually going to take uh, the turbo and manifold out. So we're just undoing the coolant lines. I've got to take the actuator out because the actuator is actually uh, blocking one of the coolant lines. And we're going to take this thing out and we're going to actually like put it and assemble it together correctly and we're going to put the whole thing back in. So, there we go. Yeah, just like that, she is out. Woo! Nice. What are you up to, Brian? Just changing to the new rims. Um, <clears throat> pretty much the car is finished right now. We just gotta do some couple of things like seal the oil lamp for the turbo and then just replace the windshield and then after that we should be good to go completely. So sweet. So just so you guys know, I didn't pick up the camera last night. Um, I decided to come down here, help with Brian, putting everything back together. Um, we just there's so much going on that we didn't have anyone to really film for. Um, so we got everything done, and like I said, what he said we have to do left is what we have to do left, and, and we're done. And then we can do some more Hoonigan stuff, so. All right, guys, so we just went over to AutoZone. We dropped off some oil. We do have a little bit of oil leaking from the feed line, so we're gonna go back and put some more thread lock on it, and then we're actually gonna put some quick seal and let it uh, you know, cure for about an hour or so, and then hopefully uh, we'll be good okay. to go. Oh. Oh, come on, dang it. And just like that guys, the video is pretty much over. We did get Brian's 240 up and running. What we did is we actually took the feed line, uh, the adapter that was connected to the block, we took it off. We actually put JV Weld around it. Then we retightened it back down, let it cure for 48 hours, and it was good to go after that. So like I said, his stuff is up and running. The Let's Go For A Ride series will continue. Uh, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see more content like this, make sure you push the subscribe button or the bell icon to make sure that you guys get notified when my videos upload. Other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next video.